All right. Today we're going to take an existing app and JavaScriptify it. Uh, let's throw some line breaks in there to push the existing implementation down to give us a little bit more room, but we're going to keep it in the DOM just so we have a reference point. All right. Uh, so we're going to get rid of that initial uh, on the items template string, throw a form field in there. That way, uh, that way we have a place to create our new item. Uh, the first input field is going to be for that item body. So it's going to be an input type text with a placeholder of task, I think, because body isn't very descriptive. And uh, throw a V model of new item dot body. Uh, we still need to create the new item up top, but we'll do that in just, sec just a second. Yep, and there's that uh, view error. So now we create an empty new item. And that error is gone, and we just want to verify that, yes, we do have a, uh, an empty new item object on load. All right, so back over here. Okay, so we're going to create another input field, this time with a type of date and a placeholder of nothing at all because we don't need it, and uh, we'll call that new item dot date. Refresh the field, and we have that Chrome date picker. Now we're going to go ahead and add the methods object to our component uh, first instead of and instead of adding the handler first. Of course, that's function. No arguments in this one because we're going to get everything we need from uh, from var self equals this. Uh, and we're also going to need an items array at some, excuse me, at some point. So var self equals this. And we're just going to add a console log so that way we know when uh, when that item changes. Excuse me, that way we know when this handler changes. And I'm not going to bind this to the form. I'm going to leave that to you. Uh, don't for, uh, make sure to check out yesterday's lesson so that way you don't have full page refresh when the form is submitted. All right, we're going to send that $VM to the console. And handle new item is called. Now I'm going to go ahead and create a new Ajax call here. Let's check out uh, the URL for the new item route. There it is, API items. And that is a post method. So method post, that's a uh, string. And a URL of API items. Data is going to be self .new item. Now this is actually an error, uh, something I did not uh, catch at the time. So you're going to kind of watch me flail around a little bit. In just a second. That is coming up. All right, full re page refresh. Once again, we send our view item to the console. And we say vm.handle new item. And that is a bad post request. So we're going to go over to the network going to filter by XHR and we see that we're missing the property type item. So we're going to go ahead and wrap item in an object with a key of item. Uh, now we're going to pull up the, the uh, view dev tool so we can see what we're going to send over the wire. So body is going to be Ajax test and the uh, date is going to be the date that I picked right there. Handle new items called, we get the response back. Refresh the uh, Ajax page, and we have a new uh, task. All right, I'm going to leave a to do on here for uh, pushing the new item onto your items array. And you'll also want to set self.newItem to an empty object. So that way, when somebody comes along and creates an item, um, the old item is taken out of the input. 
and we we'll also need an init function. Notice that's an error I just typed in there. Uh, that should be an init function, not an init object. Once again, I did not catch it at the time. Uh, so we're just leaving the to-do of fetching the collection of items. Uh, you'll be able to find the code for that in yesterday's uh, in yesterday's recording and uh, project and it to have rendered the list of items. All right, and here I am clearing that in the air that I uh, put on there a little earlier.